Hey everybody, welcome back to Without Code. My name is Ashton, and today we're looking at our new Google Translate widget. Now, as you might imagine, this widget translates a page or a site into another language. It's powered by Google, and there are currently 108 languages available. Now, this is different from our multi-language option. That option is integrated into the builder and allows you to create a duplicate version of your site in another language that lives on a subdomain. That translation is fixed and is seen by anyone that visits that version of the site. With the Google Translate widget, the translation is done by the site visitor. This is not a translation that we do as the site builder that applies as a translation to the site. It's done by the site user, and the translation is only seen by that user. Now, once the user translates your site, it will be translated on future visits as well due to a browser cookie that's stored. So let's jump into our builder and take a look at how this works. I've got our accountant theme pulled up here, and I've got a space up here in our header to place our Google Translate widget. It's easily accessible here, and since it's in the site header, it will be present on every page, which is probably what you're going to want to do in most cases with this widget. Placing the widget in the body of a page will only allow the widget to translate the page that it's placed on. So let's jump into the widgets panel, go to our basics section, and we'll grab our Translate widget out and drop it into our header on our page. Great. I'm also going to align the widget to the top of the column here so that when the actual widget is displayed on the page, everything lines up nicely. Now let's take a look at our options. The first option is drop down style. This allows you to choose one of three display types. Now they all function similarly and they all display a drop down. The simple option. This mode is the most compact of all. Now when the drop down is opened, the languages are displayed in a mega menu style drop down. This mode will display all the languages at once on most screens. And then we have horizontal and vertical. These modes look the same with the exception that the powered by Google text appears on the side for horizontal mode and below for vertical mode. Both horizontal and vertical can be more appropriately stretched to wider widths than the simple mode. Also, both of these modes display a more traditional dropdown that's taller and will require scrolling to get to the selections at the bottom of the list. Let me choose vertical for now. We have an option here for hide Google logo, which of course allows you to hide the Google branding. Let me enable this right now so we can hide the logo. Hide translation pop-up. Now by default, when you hover over translated text, a pop-up appears showing a portion of the text in the original language, but you may disable that feature with this toggle. Great. Now to see this in action, we're going to want to republish the site. You're going to see this widget placeholder here in the editor and in preview mode, but this won't be present on a published version of the site. Okay, let's check it out in the browser. And we can already see our language dropdown present. Let's select a new language. I'll go with Spanish. And just like that, the entire site is translated in an instant. A couple more tips and notes I'll mention here about this widget. This widget will translate all core native text across the site. That means that text originating from text and title widgets will be translated. The widget will also translate your blogs, which is awesome. Now, for those of you that already use a multi-language site, you may already realize that blogs are not translated like the rest of the site. Now, if this is your scenario where your site is translated with the builder's multi-language options and you just want the blog translated, you can add this widget to your blog. It's best to add it to the blog layout as well as individual blog posts. It's also important to remember that most widgets in third-party HTML embeds will not be translated with this widget. Additionally, the language options are controlled by Google, and the available languages may increase or differ over time. And as I've mentioned a few times, the more standard option for multi-language sites is to use the builder's built-in multi-language options. The Google Translate widget offers a bit of a different solution that puts translation control in the hands of the user. But be sure to visit our documentation to learn more about the multi-language options if you think that it's the right thing for your site. Thanks again for watching, and hope to catch you in another Without Code tutorial very soon. Ciao.